The people of Lake Town said farewell as the dwarves set out for the lonely mountain. They passed through the lands destroyed by the dragon, the desolation of Smaug. High in the mountain, Bilbo saw a thrush cracking snails. Then, as the sun set on the last light of Durin's day, Bilbo saw a keyhole appear on the side of the mountain and called for the dwarves. They opened the secret passage into Smaug's lair. Now is the time for our esteemed Mr. Baggins to earn his reward. You must enter the dragon's lair. Bring me the golden cup of Thor. Be careful not to wake the dragon. I suspect he will not be pleased to meet you. Just thinking of that dragon makes me lose my appetite. Be careful, Bilbo. Dragons are not to be underestimated. Whatever you do, don't look him in the eyes. You could fall under his dragon spell. Use that ring of yours, Baggins. You'll need all the help you can get. I'm quaking in my boots. Truly, I don't know how you're going to do it. Remember, stay away from his wings, and claws, and tail, and mouth. You're the finest burglar in the business. If anyone can do it, it's you, Bilbo. You've come a long way, Hobbit. I didn't think you had it in you. Be careful down there. You can do this, Bilbo. You are the bravest of us all. Well, now you're in for it at last, Bilbo Baggins. There sleeps Smaug the Magnificent. If ever I am to prove my worth as a burglar, it is now. Smaug, and Thorin's golden cup is right underneath his nose. My grandfather. Bilbo has courage and resource far exceeding his size, and good luck far exceeding the usual allowance. All of our trials have led to this moment. Now we slay the dragon Smaug, and a home and treasure regain. Ah, uh, and how do we do that? <coughs> you have no plan. Well, every worm has his weak spot, as my father used to say, though not from personal experience. Well, I suppose I could have a look. I do have this ring, after all. I'll creep down to the dragon's lair and see what I can see. Excellent plan, Bilbo. Good luck. <laughs> Come into the light, where I can get a look at you. I might be able to find a weak spot if I could just get high enough to get a good look at him. If I keep the ring on, perhaps he won't see me. Help yourself again. There is plenty and to spare. No thank you, O oh Smaug the Tremendous. I only wish to see if you were as great as all the tales say. You have nice manners for a thief. You seem to know me. <laughs> but I don't remember smelling you before. I am the clue finder, the web cutter, the barrel rider, and the ring winner. Lovely titles. 
But my teeth are swords, my scales are shields, and my breath, death. You know, I've always understood that dragons were soft underneath. Ha! <laughs> what do you think of this? Dazzling! Perfect! Flawless! No blade can cut me, nor arrow pierce me. Old fool, there's an empty patch on his chest, as bare as a snail out of its shell. What was that? Well, <laughs> I really must not detain your magnificence any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving so soon, Barrel Rider. Going back to those miserable tub trading lake men. <laughs> Thieving Lake Man! Bilbo told them all about the hollow spot on the dragon's chest. The thrush listened and then flew away toward Lake Town. Suddenly, the wind howled. They barely made it into the secret passage before the dragon smashed the mountainside. Bilbo and the dwarves were trapped in Smaug's lair. ...place before the dragon returns. Get us across that chasm, Bilbo. Good work, Bilbo. Follow me into the dwarf city of Erebor.